this this means I can put my hand on my chest that I have like let's get into three thousand snow. Three thousand means on the farm. On the farm. Nice. Because when I was when I was doing the swing, I I decided to count the number here, straight line, mm. and it was was more than three hundred. Okay. Down here, and from and the there to here is more than hundred. You turn it times hundred is how much? Okay. How do you get okay. it? Thirty thousand. So. So the planting distance. So that you use those what? Seventy centimeters. Seventy centimeters by twenty centimeters. Okay. Yeah. So here. Yeah, you know, uh, all things being the core, I should be should be clocking more than twenty k. All things being the core, should be clocking no more, more than twenty k. Unless something who <laughs> shows <laughs> something <laughs> that is that is unexpected happens because I don't know why I shouldn't. Mm. I don't know why I shouldn't. I should make I should make that profit. Okay, so I'm I'm here with Gideon. Um, we've been following the series so far. We've looked at the catfish. We've looked at the snow. We are finally here at on the on the maize farm. We have to know some information that will be useful to you as a beginner when you are starting your own uh, maize farm, and why he ventured into maize farm, whether it's profitable or not, um, starting maize farm in here in Ghana. So yeah, Gideon, um, we are the maize farm. Mm. Welcome. Thank you. Mm. As usual. Why maize farming? Okay, um, I think uh, every decision that I took was out of somehow part of a video that I watched. Okay. I remember like, 2021, yeah, I chance on uh, an interview with um, Obia. Opia. Yeah, uh, Opia or Obia. Opia. Opia. Okay. And that video, um, if we were making an analysis on the maize farming profitability, and I also did that. Some small uh, research on it, okay. you know, and then um, I started it. So that is why I chose the maize farm. Okay. And when did you start this maize farm? I started ma just this, this first match. Wow. Yeah. First match. First of this year. I said yeah. And it's been like this. Uh, I started the the plantation in the first match. Okay. And this is how far God has brought me. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, how many acres of maize do you have? One and a half. One and a half acres. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, why? Because when I start, maybe you want to start small or something. Why? Or straight uh, straight forward went to one and a half acres of maize. Okay. Well, um, this this objective because <laughs> <laughs> because how 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 I wanted big is like thousand acres. You know, so if I'm so this one is small uh, for you. Okay. Small, uh -huh. So so it's, it's objective. Maybe someone wants to do it like five acres. So the person will say like uh, uh, half an acre, you know. But the plan is that I want to do like thousand more than thousand acre of maize farming in the near future. Mm -hmm. And also with the experience that I got from university, the video that I watched and I watched and uh, the kind of conversation I've had with our great uh, officers and all that, you know, um, and, and 2020, during the lockdown, I was I was here with my dad on this same farm, Okay. you know, we, we didn't make farming, but for him, he did a lot of maize cropping, you know, but for me, purely maize, yes. I have my reasons, of which uh, I think during the conversation, I think it will pop up when I talk about how okay. I did purely maize. Okay, so you know normally people are starting some crop farming like this. Their issue has to do with, well, how, how do I get land to be started in the first place? The land, is it that it's your father's land, you purchased it, or how? How did you yeah, go the land, the land? the land was rented, actually. Okay. It was rented for five years, and uh, my dad rented it, you know. And my dad is growing um, old, so he's, he's no more doing farming. Okay. And as I did a great business, uh, and always it's always is good to have the vision because i remember when i watched your video i spoke to my mom that this year i watched the video last two years 2021 i said this year i want to start maize farm i've been talking to him about talking to her about last year i want to start maize farm but i didn't know how okay but uh, once i got a job i decided to do it this uh, match and here we are you know, so the land was rented for my dad. For my dad rented it for five years, 
he's no more doing it and now since the land was available i decided to come here and, and, it. and do it okay yeah. okay i wanted to ask the question starting the maze farm okay um okay let me let me let me break the Make course it. down i like I'll that break it down <laughs> Yeah, well, I like I like some people hide this kind of information, but I mean, there's no need hiding it. You need people to enjoy what they're doing, so that they have reason why they should enter or not. Sure. So, um, with my with the farming, when I started it, um, as I said, my dad rented it 2020, and with maize farming, cassava, yeah. with um, plantain, cocoa yam, yam. Oh, oh, and the one in Africa. Oh, <laughs> and Africa. Thank you. So, you can see. so um, uh, after that, the following year, I did cassava. I mean, uh, basically the same thing again. You okay. know. So, uh, when I came in this year, there was plantain here. And I cut everything. I told him that if he wants to uh, uh, eat plantain, I'll buy plantain for him. <laughs> so, I cut everything, you know, got everything off the land. Okay. So that one, when I was claiming the land, when, I, when they were reading, it costed me 700 cities. Okay. So that was the first cost. And I didn't want to burn the, burn the, the soil, you know. So I had to let someone come in to... Plow it. I'm more say, a, a more pump. Like they use cutlass to just... Uh, turn it over. Turn it over. And, okay. You know, okay. They did all over. So then a manual plowing of the, of the land. Yeah. And, and they, uh, they gathered the... Um, the liquid leaves, the debris, or uh, surgically at vantage point. That one we bend, we bend, we bend, we bend okay. that. Okay. That one costed me thousand cities. Just the entire place. They doing the turning mm-hmm. over and the burning. No, no? the burning and the leaves are too much, so they had to. Well, it wasn't an easy job. Got that one. It wasn't got just as just as I'm saying. That's okay. why it costed that much. Okay. You know, so it costed so me thousand cities. Thousand seven. Mm-hmm. Then, the maize that I bought. The maize. What type did you buy? I am um, Panan. Okay. Panan. I, was, I think it was 845 Ghana cities. Okay. You know, it was 845 Was it, is it the cities. one in the, was it in the, the sack? It's a sack, oh, yeah. I have this, okay. It's a sack. It's named Panan. It's a sack. I didn't use all. I think I sold, uh, I sold three and a half bags. Like, mini bags inside. Okay. You know, okay. Mini bags inside. So I sold each for 100 cities. And so it was two in a cities. So let's deduct that from there. Eight. Eight. So it means I, I invested six hundred and forty five Ghana cities from that. From ah, that. So, so the one you sold like you sold to other people to other use. people to use. Okay, okay. To reduce the cost that I incurred. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that would be six eight five. Six eight five plus, plus thousand, thousand seven. seven. So they can do in their own. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um after that, um I bought MPK. So MPK I bought two bags. Okay. That is one fifty kg and uh, two twenty-five kg. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fifty kg, I bought four hundred and fifty cities, and the um, twenty-five kg, I bought it one for one thirty Ghana cities. I bought two. Okay. You know, so I I paid for labor, labor, labor. It costed me three hundred cities to apply the MPK. Okay. You know, yeah, and also had to apply um. We decide. We decide to abort. We decide. It cost me three hundred cities. But we decide, and I had to get someone to spare it for me. You know, so after I spare, I have to get laborers to uh, place that wa- weren't uh, uh, clear that much. I had to get labor. That one too it costed me fifty cities to uh, move those all those ones, all small, small, small ones. You know, so uh, basically, basically. Basically, that is that. And also, when I was doing the, when I was doing the spring, when I was doing the spring, uh, I had to transfer water from home to this place. Okay. That one, to, uh, doing doing the tra- transferring and all that, it costed me around uh, two hundred cities. So in all, in all, um, I don't know, in all, it will be around uh, six thousand Ghana cities in all. Okay. Six thousand seven thousand Ghana cities in all. You know, maybe I might forget something, but I will, mm. I, I, again, I will, I will have a book that I, I will do the estimates sure, and send it, sure. give it to you so I can add it to the video. Okay. okay. So, I know it costs me around 6,000 6, to 7,000 7, to yes. do this whole farming that you are seeing. And I did all these expenses because a lot have been done on the farm already. So, obviously, there have been some new trends of, even though I only have even bought MPK. 
and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't right. have uh, um, uh, incurred that cost. But I had to do that because your dad has used, dad has used it, quite and, a number and of he years. has he has ruined the land. <laughs> a lot of things, so I needed to I needed to add a lot of uh, nutrient there so that you can get the maximum yield. I must say it's been yeah. two months and the the maize have grown nicely. Yeah, the, the maize have grown nicely. Thanks. Okay, so now let's the course that you broke down. Let's go back a bit and just mm. look into details. So you said you cleared the land. So normally, if you are starting a base farm, you clear the land. Yeah. And the MPK, you apply the MPK first before sowing. You know how to do, do mm, that application. You do the sowing. You know, you do the sowing. Even the sowing, I, I forgot. I I employed people to sow. Okay. That one course telling me. I also um, uh, uh, did um, uh, like we did a line. I don't know how to, I forgot how to call it. Um, um, skip me, but yeah, I guess you like yeah. to make sure they are all yeah, in line, yeah. yeah. So, we, we and that one too costed me more than 300 cities. The sewing to it costed me more than 400 cities. Wow, you know? so that's why it's up to six to seven thousand. Okay, you know? so um, we do the sewing first. We do we, we after the sewing after two weeks, then we apply the MPK. Okay. Know, the MPK. The MPK is new nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus. phosphorus yeah. You know, that one will 15, help. 15, 15. That one will help. See what you see here. How the how big it is, how the root has shown. It's all because of the MPK. Okay. It's all because of the MPK. It gives it the firm stem. It gives the firm stem. It makes it beautiful as you see here. It makes it more green. So okay. that's, that's the job of the MPK. And today we are coming to apply. It's a bit late because I was having some financial issues, but I've been able to. So I'm still applying. Those that will pick it, they pick those that couldn't pick it. It's better than not applying at all. Exactly. So I'm applying um, urea. Okay. You know, so the urea, those that um, um, are yet picking the the um, uh, the fruit, you know, they can uh, like take the urea and then give me big ones. You okay. Know. I should have done it last week, but. Money is a problem, mm. so I have to work out to get some money. So normally, had it not been the financial issue, normally the year you apply it, what time do you yeah. apply it? The year you apply it, um, uh, a month after you apply the MPK. Okay. A month after you apply the MPK. Right after, you, you when you see that this this is touch, when you see this thing coming, it shouldn't come out like that. When you see, no matter when you see this thing coming. Ah, the best time to, to no, apply it. What is this thing? What thing? I mean, this one. This one. Ah, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. You know, we call it tassel. Tassel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, tassel. Yeah. Okay. So when, when, it's, when it's coming, the moment you see that, you see the sentence that is coming, then you apply it. So that by the time this one comes, the area is in there, you know. But sometimes to the, the area might be in the soil already for, mm-hmm. for, for, for them to get it. Okay. You know. But who knows? You apply it to also, maybe there's no rain so to help them. So that's what we are doing today, the new application. Okay, okay. So if you are growing maize commercially, which type do you think is good for you to grow? Well, we have two types, organic and inorganic. But I, I always advise the organic, organic over one. the inorganic. Okay. Uh, the reason is that the organic uh, one, it will give you maximum yield. Maximum yield. It was done in a way that... Uh, uh, they cro- they did a lot of um, crossing of varieties to get it, so it will give you maximum as compared to the inorganic ones. The inorganic ones, and also it's pest resistant. You know, I I, I doubt if uh, I was using the inorganic. And that's why the further I sprayed it, you know, it could have had an effect. But after I sprayed it, if I tell you that I had a lot of um, uh, armyworms on the farm you won't believe it yeah because they look nice they look very they were they were all over you know so after spraying a week time when i came everywhere was green everywhere was very happy so it's pest resistant and also can can take weather like drought can take much as compared to the inorganic Inorganic ones you know so organic is the best an example is the panana that i use soon the panana that i use soon that i can recommend to people and also there's a name called um pania and that's another Inorganic that sorry organic, organic that you can use okay. so that's what I can, I can recommend to everyone yeah but what's the difference between the organic and the inorganic is it that the inorganic grows faster or how no no the, the, the organic they are the other ones they are the ones but as I said the inorganic the yield is low it's low you won't get 
Because it grows it's small, like when it comes, it's small, small. Mm. Yeah, this one, it doesn't actually come out to my, come out, like come up up to the maximum point. But let's see, see how it is, it is, yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is building up. So, like, when the fruit is bigger than the, uh, than the inorganic, and also the seed, when the, when the, I mean, when the fruit comes, the, the small, I don't know how to, if it is, they call it corn, that small, small one, like that. With you know. mm-hmm. It comes uniformly. Okay. Uniformly. But then organic one. You know, gonna, uh, baby Akeke. Baby Akeke. But when it, mostly it comes uniformly. Okay. And the if I planted the inorganic in line like this, most of them won't germinate. But with this one has like ninety five percent chance of germinating. Okay. Okay. So when you are planting you plant it one 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 one, you have rest assured that they will germinate. Nice. How we get it? Nice. So that's that's the difference. I'm going to get a yield as compared to the inorganic. You know, so that's basically that. Okay. So I know maize today plants in seasons. What season is best to grow maize? Um, the season is best to grow maize is if you have if you have a um, water system. Um, if you plant it in uh, December, the so December January February you'll be in. You know, during February March April. April price is very high. If you mind, last time I checked, uh, hundred, hundred, hundred um, corn, uh, corn or maize. Uh, I like confused me. Okay. Hundred of these. Uh-huh. I don't know if you see it. Hundred of these. You know, is two fifty cities. Two fifty cities. Yes. Okay. That was last week that I asked uh, the, the market woman. Okay. Cost two fifty cities. So. It means that if you have 100 on the farm, you know, you're going to, your rest should have 250. If you have 1,000 on the farm, your rest should have, have 2,500. If you have 10,000, it just goes on and on and on. Mm-hmm. So, so, it's, 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 it's profitable, basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want, do you want to talk about this profitability? I, I wanted to ask whether it's profitable because with the cost you've incurred, how much do you do you do you intend getting more than that? Is there likely of getting more than well, that? Yeah, it's, it's likely. High, high, like I mean, high, high. I mean, you see, I remember Obia said something uh, in the interview that um, it's good to sell it fresh than sell it in the dry. dry season. Yeah, I agree with him 100% because when you sell it dry. You have to remove, cut it, as in harvest it, go home, dry it. You know, animals will chew some, some will not be well, um, some will, 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 will destroy and all that. So when that happens, your yield keep on reducing. Okay. And how much is a bag of maize? How much? I would just one, as I said, one, can get one for two sleeves, two pieces, you know. So, this this means I can put my hand on my chest that I have like let me get into three thousand you know, three thousand means on the farm. On the farm, nice. Because when I was when I was doing the swing, I I decided to count the number here, straight line, mm. and it was was more than three hundred. Okay. Down here, and from and there to here is more than hundred. So three hundred times hundred is how much? Okay. How do we get okay. it? Thirty thousand. So. So the planting distance. So that you use or what? Seventy centimeters. Seventy centimeters by twenty centimeters. Okay. Yeah. So here, yeah, you know, uh, all things being equal, I should be, should be clocking more than twenty k. All things being equal, should okay. be clocking yeah. more, more than twenty k. Unless something, who <laughs> shows, <laughs> <laughs> something that is that is unexpected happens because, I don't know why I shouldn't. Mm. I don't know why I shouldn't. I should make. I should make that profit. Okay. Yeah. So, and if you are wondering why maize farming what, what also a profitable venture, you know, most of the feed we give to our livestock are all based on maize. Yeah. From poultry to pigs, even to some of the feed that we give to other animals, they are all made from maize. All the source come from maize. So when poultry farmers are complaining, maize uh, cost of food is expensive. Cattle farmers are complaining, cost of food is expensive. Most of them get their origin from the maize that we, we produce. And yeah, once we produce more maize, it would help make the cost of feed that we yeah. cost come down. So at least it will be, uh, how do you call it? To be cheaper for all 
um, animal farmers to at least um, try and be able to purchase it. They mm. also make yeah good return. Mm-hmm. So that we, the buyers, too, will get at a cheaper price. Mm. So it's good for everyone to at least try and uh, venture into maize farming. If you have a land there, you can try and do the maize farming as well. So um, normally, people say when you, grow, you can grow maize with cassava. Mm. What do you think about that? No, I don't, I don't support that claim. Unless maybe you wait until your time you are coming to harvest. Then you plant it in between. That one, the cassava won't have any. You see, if I plant this thing, this, this is, yeah. uh-huh. now this root, this root that you see, yeah. you know, the root is not just there for the fun of it. Okay. It's picking nutrients in the soil, mm. you know, to give it to the plant so that you can get your maximum yield. Okay. So if this space that is supposed to pick nutrients, from here to here, and from here to here, you find a cassava here, you know, this is speaking, cassava is speaking, this is speaking, cassava is speaking. Mm-hmm. I mean, how, how, how do you express? You, you, I mean, you should know that obviously, then the, 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 the amount of nutrient that you're we'll supposed to get, it. you know, won't be the same, because they'll be sharing it. I hope you get it, yeah. they'll be sharing it. So, um, if, unless maybe when this thing, you know, I, you know, maybe the week that you're going to do a plantation, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm going to do the harvesting, you plant the cassava, okay. then it's fine. But me, if you have one acre, it's better to plant maybe half an acre maize, purely maize, and plant half an acre purely cassava, purely cassava to give you much more than doing the multi mm. I don't subscribe to that. Okay. So what part of the idea that... Um, Cassava is more of like a root crop, and a maize is like a shoot kind of. So yeah, the, they don't really compete for nutrients that much. You know, the thing is that when you do, when you do, even there, the, 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 there is this uh, notion that even if the land has already been used for cassava plantation, you shouldn't even plant maize. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, but first time hearing that. Yes, I've got, I've, I've, I've got that information. But uh, I don't, I don't really subscribe to that. <laughs> so, so if that, if that notion is there, at the same time, you are planting your maize. And I also, if I tell you how much my dad made from, made from the maize farming, you get shocked. Well, I wasn't even up to three thousand Ghana mm. cedis. When you did a maize cropping, yes, for, for 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 an acre and a half. I mean, I mean, then can farming then can you? Mm, can no one do farming? So I don't subscribe to maize cropping at all. It's, 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 it's not. I mean, it doesn't help. Okay. It doesn't help. Okay. Mm. Okay. So um, growing maize. What has been some of the main challenges that you faced on the maize farm? Like yeah, that the, comes to maize farming basically. The I mean, um, that is the main challenge. If you don't take care, sometimes by 4 a.m. I wake up, load a car. You know, there's no water here, so I get it from home bring it here at 4 a.m. I'll be in the farm spraying all over every 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 plant every plant every plant and you're supposed to apply the um I mean like the, the chemical to destroy or kill them. If you don't do that forget it. Your your profit will reduce by seventy percent. Mm. Because they will, they eat a lot. As they are eating then they are also like going to private. <laughs> so the food doesn't stay in their, in their stomach for them to be full. Okay. So just imagine. So as they are consuming, then it's coming out. Mm. As they are consuming, then it's coming out. So then it's a... So then it's a... It's a <laughs> you know, one near sharp, no one near. They will eat uh, and come and eat this thing that's supposed to sell and make money. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, so that's the main challenge. That's the main challenge. The second challenge is that if... Uh, Maize also need water, but not that much, you know. So if you don't have uh, a place where water is near, or you can bring water, you know, to uh, because some 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 there's some place that you have tonight it's not raining. If we do maize farming, but for me I was fortunate enough that uh, it's been raining. Uh, I mean God has been good to me since I, even the day before I did the plantation it rained, it rained. and it's been raining consistently. It, it, it hasn't been a like say like a whole week now in soon to it's really at least yeah, yeah. Actually, a weekend some days now. 
it's another way so, of okay. so, 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 mm. nice. so, basically that and, and, and automatically money for the alliance here you have the idea you have the knowledge you have the energy you have the people around us who are hungry to work and make money out of it as in being paid you know but we need people to support us either invest investors the government whoever that believes in the fact that they usually in the idol they usually working mm. well i mean i know the ghanaians you to be not lazy and just that we are not having the the maximum opportunity because some a lazy person won't strive to go to someone's country so to go and do casual casual la bo ko ti mi ko ye construction ko so so ne contractor you know the other professional is not there so that is that okay mm. okay so um we we'll try to wrap up let me like so is it all mesh go within three months or that some that go no, some some go less than less than that some okay. go for two days hey like, and those are the organic i uh, do you have organic types or they they go organic so far as i'm concerned i don't know if you know organic that means like uh-huh, but there are some you know organic that i've seen Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, is there any final message maybe you want us to know about maize farming? Anything you want to share with us mm. for new beginners? Any advice for them? Well, the 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 little advice I I I will give you that when you take a decision, don't give up. When you take a decision, don't give up. You know, because commitment will make you start something, but consistency will make you stick to it and get to the finish line mm. Mm. because this thing that I did it hasn't been easy I'm a young man just 26 years you know my father my mother doesn't work they are, they are not rich I mean you no know, I mean came to home I mean they are not rich they don't have car they don't have yeah they, they are just farmers now they are old so they are just home depending on us to support them in their activities we don't have much so the support doesn't come from family <clears throat> come from uh, always waking up brainstorming trying to find out what to do and all that so it is not easy so if you want to do the same thing you just need to make sure you don't give up giving up is not an option because if you give never up, give up yeah i mean i don't know if if if, if, if yeah, never give up if you knew you are going to have this interview <laughs> you brought this thing you know you should never ever in your life give up but the moment you give up you see the chance of seeing what is going to happen if you don't give up you know because when i was starting this someone advised me that oh you should wait may then you start at that time the water i rather me when i said everyone is starting so how can i make maximum profit because everyone is starting and at that time they can even sell uh, 100 snails i'm sorry 100 um meals for for just 50 cities 100 meals I mean, which is not enough Mm-hmm. So uh, we should just we should just we should just never give up. Take the decision, stick to it, fight, 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 fight. Without the fighting spirit, and people will just people will just stop trusting them uh, and they give up. And lastly, you should be mindful who you share your dreams with. And people are dream killers. You tell them your dream, and they, just, they, 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 they don't want to do. But if I'm doing it, they don't think through the decision. Oh yeah, all kind of seven nine seven about more. But they will just trash it all. And they say, oh yeah, I'm fat. Yeah, the people that I told them, uh, ah, and then when I come to work, my my bread, my bread that form, they were about what I create, you might be sharing no more bread. But if you know what you're doing, you don't. Those things are just part of life. You stick to it. Trust me, you hit it. That is life. Shop, 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 thank shop, you very shop. much for this opportunity. I'm so super super grateful. I'm, I'm also thankful. I've yeah, been fighting to get this opportunity. Oh, mm. I'm grateful when I reached yeah. out to Alice. You also, you got to be on the channel. You also, you got I'm to be on the channel. But like before we wrap up, I forgot to ask you this. So you said the armyworm. Mm. You said it normally affects us. How do you prevent the armyworm? How do you um, prevent them from coming? Avoid them? Yes. You can't prevent them from coming. What you can do is maybe just two weeks after plant after planting. While they are not there, then you spray even before they come, and they okay. won't come. So what? Which we decide. What uh, one do you use? Well, you know, you just go to. Let me um, pick this thing for me. Are you not down? No, no. Oh, baby, not down. Uh huh. Pick it for me. Bring it. Hmm. So I use this bipel. Okay. 
Boss, can you can you can you can you zoom it? I use bipel, you know. It, it's very good. I mean, I'm not condemning others. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I don't want to. And there's there's no paid promotion. Uh huh. Hey, but 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 you have to pay us. Yeah, hey, have to pay us. Are you doing? So I use I I use bipel. You know, so, but others too are there that when you go to the Greek uh, department in your in your constituency or your district or municipal, you get um, them to recommend something to you. You know, there are a lot of them, not just by pill, a lot of them, but this is what I used to uh, apply it. You know, sharp, yeah. sharp, 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 sharp. So, yeah, um, thank you, thank you for being on the channel. Okay. Um, I think there's one thing that I would like to address. I know we've talked about it. So, in the course of the video, I kept mentioning up here, up here, up here. I know most of you have watched the videos, the videos are from the snow, fa uh, snow farming to maize farming to cassava farming, especially. And in the comment section, most people keep asking the, uh, the number and I don't share the number. Unfortunately, um, I had complaints from my viewers that some of them were duped by him and all of that. So, yeah, so I decided not to share his contact again. So, um, if you are watching this, um, then I don't want to share his contact because I want to prevent issues of uh, such complaints I've been getting from most of my viewers because it's been a lot. I have a full video of it talking about it on my channel. I'll link it after this video so you can check it out. It will be in the video, it will also be in the description side. I'll pin the trick, guys. We'll check it, check it out, and just know what happened and what the whole issue is. I don't want to elaborate on this video, but yeah, that's basically um, the reason why I no longer share this video. All right, so that will close out this video. Um, like as usual, so you should promote it. Subscribe to be part of the channel, so we all grow together. Share this video to other people who will be inspired. People don't know what to do. They can learn from some of these things. At least to be educated, to be informed, to also start something similar on their own. All right, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.